Each year, more than 215 million LED screen televisions are sold around the world. To meet this enormous demand, major technology factories must operate without rest 24 hours a day. But how are smart TVs actually made? To find out, let's go inside the facilities of Samsung, the top producer of LED screen smart televisions. The development of smart LED TVs is a story of innovation that changed home entertainment forever. From the black and white televisions of the mid 20th century, we moved to color TV in the 60s and later to flat screens in the 90s with companies like Samsung leading the way. The major breakthrough came in the early 2000s with LED televisions. Thanks to the use of light emitting diodes, these screens became thinner, more energy efficient and capable of showing brighter and more vibrant colors. But the true revolution came when televisions became smart. They could now connect to the internet, download apps, and give users access to platforms like Netflix and YouTube. Televisions became the central hub of home entertainment. Today, with 4K and 8K resolution, ultra-thin designs, and advanced technology, these TVs deliver sharp images, lifelike colors, and compatibility with virtual assistants. They are more than just a screen. They are a perfect blend of innovation and design, an essential part of modern living. But what goes on behind the scenes in the production of these televisions? The first step in manufacturing an LED smart TV is creating the screen, one of the most important components. These screens are built using something called a liquid crystal panel, also known as LCD, which is essential for producing clear and sharp images. To build the screen, a special method called the sandwich process is used. It involves placing two extremely thin sheets of glass together like slices of bread. Between them, a layer of liquid crystal is inserted. This liquid crystal allows the pixels the tiny dots of light that make up the image to turn on, off, or change color. But the liquid crystal alone is not enough. A layer of tiny transistors is also added between the two sheets of glass. These transistors act like individual switches, controlling each pixel on the screen. They decide how bright and what color every single pixel should be. Color filters in red, green and blue are also placed on one of the glass layers. These primary colors combine in different proportions to create a full range of colors and shades, which gives us the high quality images we expect. This combination of filters, transistors and liquid crystals is what forms the pixel structure of the screen. That's how every single pixel is able to display a variety of colors, resulting in the vibrant and detailed visuals we see on modern televisions. Once the screen is complete, the next essential step is the installation of the light source. These are the LEDs, or light emitting diodes, which are responsible for lighting up the entire display and creating the contrast needed for a sharp and clear picture. The LED lights are not placed randomly. Instead, they are positioned with extreme precision in strips along the screen. To do this, an automated robot is used this machine is programmed to place each LED strip in the exact position it needs to be. This ensures that the light from the LEDs is distributed evenly across the entire screen, keeping the image bright and sharp at all times. However, light alone is not enough. It needs to be spread more evenly across the screen to avoid overly bright or dark areas. This is where a special type of plastic known as acrylic glass comes into play. This material has the ability to scatter light from the LEDs in a uniform way, ensuring that the entire screen is evenly lit. As a result, colors and brightness appear consistent across the whole display. Thanks to this process, televisions are able to deliver outstanding image quality with sharp details and vivid colors, significantly enhancing the viewing experience for the user. In the next stage of the production line, the electronic circuits are installed. These are what allow the television to operate properly. Several circuit boards are manufactured for this purpose. These boards are essential components because they hold all the electronic parts that make the television work. There are two main boards installed during this step. The first is the main board. This is the most important board because it acts as the brain of the television. It contains the circuits that manage many essential functions, such as receiving signals from the antenna or cable, processing image and sound, and connecting the television to the Wi-Fi network. 
This is what allows you to stream content from services like Netflix or YouTube. The second is the power board. As the name suggests, this board is responsible for distributing electrical energy to all the parts of the television. It delivers the current needed for the LEDs, the image processing circuits, and all the other internal systems to work properly. The installation of these boards is not an automatic process. It requires manual assembly. Workers place each electronic component such as transistors, resistors, and capacitors onto the baseboard one by one. These components are crucial for the circuits to function properly. Once all components are in place, a soldering process begins. This involves heating the connection points to ensure the components are securely attached and connected, allowing electricity to flow correctly through the circuits. This soldering step is essential to prevent loose or faulty connections that could affect the performance of the television. After the electronic circuits are in place and all key components are installed, the next step is to add the television casing. This is the outer shell that protects the internal components and gives the television its final shape. To achieve this, high pressure plastic injection machines are used to create the back and side panels. These machines inject liquid plastic into molds with great force, shaping each part with precision. The result is a strong yet lightweight casing. Each casing is made to fit the specific size of the television, ensuring a perfect fit. Once molded, the frame and back panel are assembled with precision. This assembly step is important because it ensures the television is not only visually appealing but also stable and durable. Although the television now has its casing and internal components, it is not yet ready for the customer. In the next phase of production, the television undergoes rigorous quality tests to ensure everything works correctly and is free of defects. These tests include image testing, where the function of every pixel on the screen is checked to confirm they are active and display colors and details accurately. High sensitivity scanners are used to examine each part of the screen detecting any pixel that might be defective and not respond properly, which could impact visual quality. Sound testing is also carried out. The television speakers are tested to ensure they produce clear sound without distortion. Additionally, the audio output is checked to confirm the sound reaches perfectly without interruptions or failures. And finally, the electrical tests. This stage involves checking all the circuits and electrical connections to ensure the television works properly from an electrical standpoint. Technicians verify that there are no failures, short circuits, or component problems that could cause malfunctions. Once the television passes all quality tests, it is time to install the software that turns it into a smart TV. This step is essential because the television must not only display images and produce sound, but also connect to the internet and access a variety of applications and services that enhance the user experience, such as Netflix, YouTube, and other streaming platforms. The software acts as the brain of the television, controlling all functions related to its smart capabilities. It also manages key elements such as network connectivity, including Wi-Fi, remote control operation, and user customization. This allows users to adjust the television according to their preferences, whether it be image settings, sound, or shortcuts to favorite apps. After the software is correctly installed, final tests are carried out to confirm that everything works perfectly, from internet connectivity to remote response. Once the television has been fully assembled, tested, and configured, it is ready to be packed and shipped to consumers. Packaging is a crucial part of the process because it must protect the television from damage during transportation. Strong cardboard is used to wrap the unit and shield it from impacts or falls. This packaging is designed to be sturdy enough to support the television's weight and endure any wear during shipping. A layer of foam is also added around the television. This foam acts like a cushion, absorbing shocks and protecting both the screen and internal components. The packaging also includes user manuals to help customers set up the television, as well as the necessary installation cables, such as the power cord and HDMI cables. Once packed, the television is ready for distribution. It is loaded onto trucks that deliver it to distribution centers or directly to retail stores for sale. 
This process ensures the product arrives in perfect condition, ready for customers to enjoy in their homes. And that is how Samsung manufactures millions of smart TVs. What did you think of the process? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. In the windows below, you'll find more videos you might like. Feel free to watch one. See you next time.